Hello everyone and welcome to the coding branch. Today we are going to be going over HTML boilerplate. Boilerplate, for anybody who doesn't know, is code that sets up your document. Think of it as sort of a starting template for your website. In the previous video we learned that HTML is a language that is structured around tags. Well, in order to have a functioning website, we need to be able to put these tags in the proper order to set up the document. In this video we'll show you everything you need to know about setting up your HTML document. The first thing that you're going to do to get started is set up a document on your computer with the extension type of .html. Now we're going to open that in our favorite code editor and get started. Every HTML document starts with an HTML tag that encloses everything. In the starting tag, we will pass the exclamation point doc type to let the browser know that it's rendering an HTML document. Though this next part isn't a part of the document boilerplate, I did want to show you how to leave a comment in HTML. If you're working in VS Code, I heavily recommend just highlighting the line you want to comment and press control forward slash. This is a shortcut that will comment the code or uncomment the code depending on the current state. But to write a comment manually, you start off with a less than exclamation point, double dash, the content of the comment, double dash, and then close that off with a greater than. All right, on to more serious matters. HTML documents have two major tags that break everything else up. The first of which is the head tag, which encloses all the metadata of the website. The next is the body tag, and that, of course, encloses all the content that the client is going to see, basically the entire website. Now we're going to get on to filling out the head. We'll first start off with the easiest and most common, a title. You can name your website whatever you want, though try and stick to what best describes it, because this will not only be displayed at the top of the browser page, but it will be used for SEO so people can best search your website on Google. Next, we'll be getting into all the meta tags. First, we're going to start out with a meta tag that has an attribute called char set, and that is going to be set to UTF-8. This is the standard character set we use in web development. It includes all the keys, some special characters, and emojis. Now we'll go ahead and add another tag. This one will have a name of viewport and a content of width equals device minus width comma initial scale equals 1.0. The first half of that sets the viewport width relative to the device width, and the second half of that sets the default zoom position. Now we're going to go ahead and add a description to our website. The content of this one will be set to the description of the website that people see on Google. Just keep in mind that there's a max length of about 120 to 158 characters depending on the device the website is being searched on. Now we're gonna go on to setting the keyword meta tag, which will contain any of the keywords of our website. This used to be used a lot more in SEO, but people started word stuffing their websites so Google no longer considers it as much. The last meta tag we're going to set is the author, and the content of this one can be set accordingly. All right, so that finishes up our boilerplate, so we're now ready to write our killer app. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoy this type of content, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe on the way out.